Poland has held its long-awaited presidential election. It was one of the longest in the country's history, lasting almost six months. Two candidates ran for the presidency, incumbent president Andrzej Duda and Warsaw Mayor Rafał Czaskowski, representing the conservative and liberal branches of Poland's social development, respectively. The current president has won the election, and he will continue to rule the country from August 6th for the next five years. Poles were anxiously anticipating the election results as the chances of both candidates winning were almost equal. Duda was slightly ahead of his opponent Chaskovsky by a narrow margin of 2%. The voters held their own preferences as are both advantages and disadvantages of the victory of each candidate. Why is this election important? Because if Duda wins, it will be a confirmation by the majority of voters that Polish society supports the Law and Justice Party. People of Poland are also considering what relations with Ukraine will be like after the presidential election. Most people stated that their opinion would not change significantly if either Duda or Czaskowski had won the election. The election in Poland was held amid the coronavirus pandemic. As a result, unprecedented security measures were taken at polling stations to prevent a surge in the spread of COVID-19. We have masks, gloves. Polish stations are constantly disinfected and ventilated. A deep clean of a polling station is done very frequently. Chaskovsky was not talking about Ukraine a lot, but he was trying to establish better contacts with local Ukrainians within Poland, and probably would do so with Ukraine itself. Despite his loss, Duda is looking to continue the policy of supporting Ukraine on the international stage. And now that the winner of the election is known, the newly elected president will now face the crucial task of reconciling the divided country who found themselves on both sides of the barricades as a result of a long, controversial campaign period.